It's a privilege to be joined on the summit today by the head softball coach at Mid America Christian University, Coach Robert Wakefield, who is in his 12th season mm -hmm. with the program, but this will also be his final season. 12 years at MACU, 45 years as a head softball coach in high school and college, both. First off, Coach, congratulations on such a long tenure. And, and uh, you know, I, I wish success to you this season, your final one. Talk about that. Well, you know, Joey, God has blessed me to be very fortunate. You know, I've been very fortunate to only have three jobs in my lifetime. And, you know, at Plainview, down there by you guys. And then I was at Moore for 13 years, and now I'm here at Mid-America for 12. And, you know, it's just been a blessing. And, you know, and, and it's it's been a, just a privilege for me to be at all three places. And like I said, we've been very successful at all three places. And it's just been a joy. And, you know, it's time for someone else now to take over. Well, Coach, and, and I know we've talked about this before. Yeah, you were down in Plainview when when I was actually in high school, which is a long time ago. And I, right. I was a crosstown cross rival over at Dixon. But, uh, Coach, again, uh, what a fantastic thing to be able to say you've done this for that long and, and God has blessed you indeed. Uh, you know, I, I'd like you to talk really quickly about your time at, at Mac U 12 seasons of mid America Christian university. And, and, uh, I, I know they appreciate your time there as well. Talk about your time there in South Oklahoma city. Well, it's been very fortunate. You know, I retired on June 1st at, uh, Moore high school and had an interview here with Mr. Willie Holly, which is the legendary basketball coach here and had an interview. And, uh, I was shocked when he, you know, the first question I thought he would ask me would be, what is your coaching philosophy, coach? And But it was, what is your standard in the ch your church? And it kind of threw me off there. But, you know, luckily, I must have answered it pretty good because I got this job on June 1st also. He offered me that weekend. And uh, so it just happened to me that God was looking after me. And uh, it just worked out and been here now for 12 years. And it's gone by so fast. And but like I said, it's just been a blessing to be here and and uh, take over this program, and we've gone to the new heights we have. I like it when when a coach's tenure is also his testimony. That's that's pretty cool, coach, to get to share that. Uh, the the team has gotten better in the years that that you've been there, and really a high point just recently back in 2021 mid America Christian university won the NCCAA national championship and you won it in dramatic fashion, taking it to extra innings. And then on top of that, a suicide squeeze walk off run in the bottom of the eighth coach. Talk about the national championship season. Well, and like I said, it was just a, one of those years that, you know, uh, was fantastic. Probably the highlight of my career here at Mac U and everything, but I was so excited, and the atmosphere in our dugout was so, it was so great. I had to step out because it was so loud and everything. But, you know, uh, it was one of those situations that we had played a great team out of Concordia, Michigan, and uh, it was 2-2 in the bottom of the eighth. And McKaylee Allen let off the inning with a base hit, uh, stole second. We buttered her to third. And Olivia Roberts, which was eventually – voted the most valuable player i gave her i told mickey my assistant i i said we'll give her one swing where she fouled it off and i said squeeze her and so and it was unique because olivia had not bunted all season so uh it was just that uh, one of those she laid it down and and uh but and luckily it went off it, it was one of those buns that was questionable but mckaylee being one of our fastest players on our team made it easily and and it was an uproar after that. It was just a great feeling and for everyone and, and especially for our team and especially for me. You know, I've never been in that situation like that. And but it was a great feeling. And what a call, coach. That's a, it's anytime you do that, I don't care how fast those runners are, it's still a gutsy call. We're visiting now with Coach Robert Wakefield from Mid-America Christian University, longtime coach at Mid-America Christian, but also uh, his coaching career spans 45 years. We're here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please take the time, like the video, share it, and we would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond right here. Coach, in, in your time, and of course over 45 years, the, the landscape of softball on the high school and college level, both, uh, has changed quite a bit. Can you talk about that and, and what you've seen during that time and maybe some of the changes? Well, the high school programs, you know, everybody is, 
it's phenomenal how the, the sport has grown and you know and you know like i said summer the summer teams have just exploded all over the the nation and everything and it also helps when you have ou in your back door here at in oklahoma that's been so successful and you know and everybody looks at patty gasso and what she's done here in the last few years and her tremendous career she's had but you know it it was amazing last a couple in the last couple of years that OU won the national tournament in the NCCA. Uh, Roger State won the D2. Uh, I think we won the JUCO and a team from Oklahoma. But it's just amazing that every level that has been so successful here in Oklahoma. Oh, yes, they, they have. I mean, the, Oklahoma really has been a hotbed for college softball, and, and it's just exploded. And, of course, your team has been a part of that rise as well. You look back, and I know there are so many names, too many names, I'm sure, to remember uh, from a decade, much less four and a half decades. But there have to be some highlight moments as well along with that national championship. Are there things that stand out to you? Well, like I said, there are, you know, there's kids. And I have to mention at least one or two, you know, the two young ladies that were successful that brought us where we were at was Reagan Martin. She may have been one of the, my biggest recruits. Uh, she came in here about six years ago and, you know, was a tremendous young lady. And then we brought her sister in, uh, Cassie and Katie Long. We had those two pitchers, Katie and, and Reagan. And they really turned their program. As you know, pitching is what makes you the way you go in, in, in softball. But like I said, those two young ladies had phenomenal years and, and they just alternated and, and they went out and just made our program so successful. And uh, Reagan, and I have to give her credit. She's the one that has really brought our program. And now we've got Rachel Eggleston and Avery Snaringer, our two pitchers, and uh, they're, they're going to help us. Uh, hopefully we get a chance to go far this year with them. Well, all right, let's talk about that. Let's wrap up our time here today on what will be your farewell tour, Coach 2023. You talked about a couple of uh, players that will be in the circle for you as well. You get things underway February 11th as uh, you have a, uh, a double header against Kansas Wesley, and that's right there at home at, at uh, Allen Field. And then March 10th, the Sooner Athletic Conference schedule or portion of your schedule gets underway, also at home, also a double header. And why not? Number one team in the country in Oklahoma City. Invite them to town. So it uh, looks like uh, uh, an interesting schedule, always going to be a strong schedule. Can you talk about this year? Well, it is, Joey. Like I said, you know, our conference, you know, OCU's preseason ranked number one, USAO's preseason ranked number three in the nation. Uh it doesn't get easy. And, you know, but like I said, we're going to be competing. And I've got six tremendous young seniors this year that I'm going to go out with. And uh, Kaylee Parcells, McKaylee Allen, uh, Olivia Roberts, um, Rachel Humberg, uh, Addie Bra Bradley, but uh, Janessa Larman. Those six seniors, I am really, they've really helped our program get where it's at today. And, uh, but like I said, it's going to be tough no matter what because their conference is getting tougher every year. And so uh, we've got to go out and compete and, and do the best we can. But we've got the young ladies that I think will help us and we'll get there. Well, it looks like you have put yourself in a position to go out in style with a, a roster like that. And we will be following you here on Midwest Sports Net as, as uh, you navigate not only the opening to your schedule, again, not that far away, February 11th, but also through that tough Sooner Athletic Conference portion of the schedule. Coach Robert Wakefield here with us on the summit today. Coach, congratulations again on a fantastic career, which is not over yet, uh, a little bit more to go, but for what you've done and, and for what you've meant to the sport and to even the university in the state of Oklahoma as well. Thank you for what you've done and what you've allowed God to do in you. Well, thank you, Joey. It's been a, it's, since it was announced early in the week, I've had people reach out to me and it's just amazing how many young people that I've coached have reached out to me, even especially down at the Ardmore Plainview area. I've had many, many of them reach out to me and say congrats. And it's just, you know, I've reached out to many lives and it's been a privilege of mine. And, you know, hopefully I can be one of those people that people remember and, uh, and it's been a good a mentor for them and everything. But I want to thank you, Joy, for reaching out to us and, and uh, let me do this for you. Well, thank you, sir. God bless you.
Well, thank you, Joy, very much.